All right, we are back, and oh uh, man, I cut myself shaving. That's crazy. Anyway, welcome back, guys. Uh, God, so yeah, we got the uh, we have got the uh, the frame, and uh, how can I describe it? I am disappointed, and I am not disappointed because I knew that the frame wasn't huge, that the uh, space for the battery was not huge, um, that the frame was not heavy, was not uh, heavy duty built. So I knew what I was buying. Um, I just didn't know that the uh, battery component was so small compared to my stealth bomber uh, frame. I mean, this is uh, a huge, huge difference in between two frames. So my frame, when I look at it, it's just completely huge. After I have taken out the uh, the bottom belly, um, my current battery, the measurements are pretty decent size, uh, way much bigger than uh, the battery that is purposely uh, solely only built for stealth bomber frame. Uh, again, the, the frame, it's not wider, it's actually skinnier, but the side panels make it wider where a, a battery, a wider battery could fit into it. Uh, of course, it has to be a uh, definitely a special shape. It cannot be rectangle or squarish like mine is. And again, my, my entire uh, stealth bomber um, frame was got out from the bottom because um, my battery would not fit just like it wouldn't fit in this frame which god I was crossing my fingers that it would but you know I'm not sure what the hell what the hell I was thinking that it would fit because there is no way no how and I'll put pictures down below that this battery will fit in that that, that little childish baby uh, frame I mean god I can't I can't I can't understand or I can't imagine how how this is even happening that this battery in reality is so small. And it's you know it's also funny because I saw Tony Heath bike is built from the same exact frame and that frame looks pretty huge to me. I mean it looks nice and wide, nice and long. I mean maybe when you put the entire bike together, you know, that belly is uh you know, looking pretty huge and appealing. But when you have all these components off, like front forks, front wheel, rear wheel, uh, rear swing arms, when all that is disconnected, it just looks a baby, a, a, like a baby was born. Uh, where if you look at Stealth Bomber, the one that I have, I have, it's like a grandfather of the child, you know, it's muscular, it's, it's appealing, it's heavy. Um, but again, our entire issue with this current you know, uh, frame was that it weighs so much. And again, we sat down with Tony, we talked about it. And look, at the end of the day, when you put the rear swing arm, when you put the battery in, when you put the wheel back in, when you put the motorcycle wheels, you're still heavy on weight. There is no way around it that you're going to make the bike light. Uh, only the, the way you can make this bike light is by putting a regular, you know, 1500 or maybe a 2,000 watts, you know, a regular fat tire, maybe a regular, you know, uh, 20 inch or 26 inch uh, tire and a wheel with the rear hub motor, and, you know, get that weight off of, off of the motorcycle tires, um, you know, get some uh, baby forks, not even, because this, this that if you build it that way, that bike is not going to be stable. So there's no way, you know, that you could go around the, the, the way behind it. Again, I don't care what motor is going, you're going to put it in. It's going to give it a weight. Um, and again, you know, if you, I mean, we already had the build to a thousand watts <coughs> with the 1500 watt motors. We already have been there. We've done that. We've done their skinny 5,000, you know, uh, watt uh, motor. We also have done that, and you know, and we've done you know, you know, the QS motor, the the big beast. Uh, you know, we already know that the eight thousand uh, uh, QS uh, two seventy three 
that is a beast and that's a huge motor and it's really unnecessary to have that kind of uh, power in the rear end. Uh, and again, there's few guys that follow me on YouTube. Of course, I follow them back. So guys, subscribe. You follow me, I follow you, I follow you, you follow me. I mean, you know, that's just the you know, uh, nature of the beast. And um, it's cool, sub for sub, like it was years ago. Now, uh, you know, uh, you don't subscribe to anybody. Nobody subscribes to you. Where before you subscribe to somebody, somebody was nice enough to do that. I still carry that, that uh, myth where if you subscribe to me, I will subscribe to you. Anyway, long story short. So we do have a couple, couple guys that follow me on YouTube, and uh, uh, there is lots of these guys are in California, and of course you have the Saran guys community, and you have the Stealth Bomber. Very few Stealth Bombers. There's lots of semi Super Seventy Threes, and there's there's a lot there's a lot Sarans, right? Not too many Stealth Bombers, right? But there's one guy. Uh, well, by the way, Chris Cross Wires, man, he he's just crazy with his bike. He's got a thousand dollars, you know, in, installed. On his bike, that's just way too much money for my hobby. Uh, sorry about that, I can't do that. Um, but uh, there is there is another guy with Stealth Bomber. He's he's controller uh, uh, Sabaton uh, 70, uh, 72, 72 150, uh, completely fried. And uh, I I God, I just believe that uh, it was just too much up the hill, down the hill. But he does have the uh, the eight thousand. Uh, QS motor and that is a beast and uh, you know if you take it off road going up the hills and all that and you continuously you know sit on the throttle that's uh, you know disaster waiting to happen uh, that's for any any system any motor any, any setup uh, you know the bike is heavy as it is uh, then we have uh, another another uh, youtuber that follows me um, he uh, he also has the 8000 and he even says it himself, the bike is too heavy because when he goes off road, you can you can hear the bike clicking, clocking, and all kinds of noise and everything. It, it's just it's just ridiculous, it's just bunkers, you know. So you know, the, the the bike that we have right now, the stealth barometer, the steel, the steel heavy duty frame, it's not done for off road. I built that bike just to my, remind you guys why I built the bike the way I built it. I built it because when I was building the bike. The electric bikes, the fast ones, without uh, pedal assist and, and and you know pedal assist and throttle, there was no way of having just a bike with throttle, no pedal assist. So your bike would automatically get seized. And there were many years where, many years, well, it was an entire year where the delivery guys in the community were getting their bike seized and they had to buy it out for you know thousand dollars, five hundred dollars before they even heard the judge or before you know they even had the chance to see a judge so now imagine if you're making money you're making bread every single day on a bike and all of a sudden the police department takes the bike away seized it confiscates it because it's illegal bike the specs are completely illegal anyway so i built my bike uh looking at the horizon where it could possibly be seized by the police department because of the specifications on the bike so i says i can't put you know, five thousand dollars into a bike and have it seized and just call it a day. Uh, you know, I don't know what the process is after your bike gets seized, but in that regards, um, I said, okay, so let me get the fake motor, the five thousand, which I did. Let me get eighty m, you know, Chinese knockoff controller, which I can set the parameters, parameters, right? Got that, right? The whole kit, uh, and then let me get the cheapest frame. I th I think for my frame, I pay 150 plus shipping was uh, about another hundred. So literally, it was uh, about 278 dollars when I look at it. Then I got the KKE forks, which I literally paid for them 150 dollars, and another hundred shipping. So I was like 250. You know, now they like they want like 500. It's like like for DNM shocks, it's ridiculous of forks. Um, so I got that. Uh, then, you know, originally, as you can see in my YouTube channel, we we had uh, we power all 248 volts uh, battery together uh, and uh, got some extra mileage out of the bike. Uh, so that was our testing. Then I finally, you know, uh, I finally got the uh, the uh, the big 50 amp hour battery that we're running currently right now. And that was my big biggest investment, you know, after all that. So this was the reason behind behind all all the uh the build you know 
But now, since the the, the community of uh, cycling, electric cycling, is becoming more popular and becoming famous, you know, all around you know fifty states, uh, Cali and New York and everybody else, and there's communities being created, and and, and you know it's nice, you know you, you'll never you'll never get, you know everybody. What do I want to say? Oh, hey, you're a stealth bomber. Is a stealth bomber or oh no, Onyx. I'll be Onyx. Sharon, man, I just oh man, that's a baby thing. Wow. First time I see uh, Saran this close. Wow, that's a baby bicycle. <whistles> it's got power, but, you know, it's got no weight. That's why it's got so much power with that crazy-ass motor. And then people playing 72-volt battery and a, and a BCA 5000 motor of your uh, controller. Man, that thing's like a rocket, you know? And that thing looks so heavy, so light. It's not even fun. It's just a regular mountain bike. So I don't know if I'm going to like it. But anyway, off the subject again. Oh, uh, well, not really. Um, so yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's funny because, you know, everybody's like, oh, you know, what's going on with the frame? You know, why is that you don't like it? This and blah, blah, blah. And again, like I said at the beginning of the video, that I don't like it. Um, the purpose for this, for this frame was to kind of like completely go from the heavy duty frame to go to this frame, lighter, less maintenance, less steel, less everything. Do I like the frame? I do like the frame. Do I love the frame? I do love the frame. For for the purpose that I got it, the reason behind it, I do. Um, we still have the front wheel coming over, right? Um, so eventually, I will order, you know, the the uh, the battery for that frame. And uh, you know, it's funny because that battery might be looking really small, but again, they're claiming 70, 70 amp hour, so that's twenty amp hour bigger than my current battery with with way much smaller print foot foot footprint there you go um so we'll you know we'll eventually we'll change that it looks like we might have to do this coming season uh with uh with what do you call it, with the uh, current existing frame i don't know i don't want to just get rid of the battery and call it a day i don't want to sell it um you know, I don't want to keep it in the house. I want to put it in the use. Maybe, uh, you know, come up with some different project that we can work with. I don't know, but I don't want to just sit in the house and do literally nothing. It's, you know, over $1,000 wasted. So it's it's kind of, it defeats the point of why why are you getting, why are you getting, come on, man, these traffic stuff. Why are you getting battery that later is going to sit? So <clears throat> the, best, the best situation, the best scenario would be, to use the battery until it starts depleting and you don't get the performance out of it. So I know my current setup, I can do everything 50-50, you know, 50 on the motor, 50 on the battery. You're good to go all day, every day. Nothing is getting overheated. Nothing nothing is blowing up. Nothing is, sh nothing is shutting me down. Everything is peachy, right? We can stay with that. <clears throat> or we can order the battery, right, which is going to cost us money. And then we can build a project, which is everybody asking me, are you building the project out of the new frame? But, you know, again, I have to get the battery. And obviously, battery is going to cost. That means that I have to put extra money out. That means that I'm more invested. That means a lot of things that I don't want it, I don't want it to be that way. You know what I mean? God, people just don't want to let you in. So I don't want to be that deeply invested uh, you know, my, my father, you know, always said, if something works, don't fix it. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not fixing it. I'm kind of trying to improve it. So, and we've done a lot of things. Uh, if you look at my videos, uh, tell you was nice enough to, uh, weld my frame, which was pretty cool. So that problem was fixed, addressed. It was improvement, obviously. Uh, you know, uh, then, uh, what we, we took out the bottom of the frame. Boom, well, that was also improvement. Got a bigger battery. Uh, then we uh, we just did our brakes. We serviced our brake brakes after two seasons. Um, then what? We got rid of the uh, the uh, old rear wheel knockoff. Got a QS 5,000 uh, watts. Then we we also got rid of the China knockoff controller. We got the Kelly controller uh, completely fully waterproof which fits so perfect and the current uh, frame it's not even funny i don't even want to take it out it's just 
perfect. Okay, so we have that. Uh, again, I don't know if I mentioned, but I mean, I know I mentioned, but not with this narrative. Uh, we do have the 17 inch, 17 inch front wheel coming. Uh, again, Tony was nice enough to tap in uh, a nice. Uh, uh, which cops? Uh, got some pull over now. So again, topped in a nice uh, hex screw, uh, or Allen screw. I think it's Allen screw. Topped in a nice Allen screw and uh, uh, made it sturdy and safe. That's originally why I was trying to get rid of the the forks because that one screw wasn't holding and the upper crown was kind of loose, which was pretty much dangerous. So he topped that in, and uh, it works. It's probably the strongest screw, you know, in that setup, like he said. Uh, so we got that. So we are really, you know, moving forward. I don't, you know, I always say I don't see a hiccup. I don't see a problem. The bike is 100%. But then you turn around and it's like, it's not 100%. Um, so, yes. So this 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 frame project, I uh, I put it away. Uh, you know, I, I snuck it underneath the, ta the, the, the table, the bed. And it's going to sit there for a little while. I don't really want to deal with it. I bought it. I have it. It came with uh, with the uh, uh, frame, with the rear swing arm, and we good. Okay. And uh, once this current battery starts uh, losing its power, then we, you know, we will pull the trigger, and uh, you know, we'll get the new new battery, and we'll do build series you know and we'll go from there but uh that's all it is so uh little little disappointed with the frame because which i knew that i don't have the uh battery that i need for it so but uh, will the quality could be better to be honest but the steel is okay the plastic is just horrible uh you know it comes off here and there it's like you know Put together with a glue or snap on uh, you know plastic pieces but you know wasn't expecting anything better however you know a couple hundred dollars later you know what i mean anyhow share like this video uh subscribe to the channel stay tuned hopefully we'll get something going um we'll, we'll think about looking at uh, hooking up the alarm hooking up the uh, the region breaking for for this scaly right now so kind of like move forward to uh, to improve the bike even even more okay so i'll try to uh get you guys video going for all those little projects until then folks ride safe